Now let's look at problem number 39. We would like to evaluate the limit as x goes to 1 of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. And as you've probably already learned, <coughs> we can take this value 1 and plug it into a limit to evaluate that limit as long as we're not creating any division by 0. When we create division by 0, then that may not be, and in fact, almost always is not right. Okay, so <clears throat> what we need to do when we evaluate a limit like this, the first thing we can do is let's go ahead and plug in the 1 and see if I plug in 1, do I create division by 0? Because if I do, I need to do something else. So I look at 1, I plug it into the bottom, I get 1 minus 1, which is 0. I do get division by 0, which tells me that I need to do something other than just plug it in. If you just plug it in and you get 0 over 0, that's wrong. 0 over 0 is not a number. Uh, we need to do something else. So to evaluate this limit, I need to use a little bit of algebra. And the first thing that I see is that the top of this fraction could actually be factored. So let's factor it. And so I'm going to rewrite this as the limit as x goes to 1 of x squared minus 1 factors to x minus 1 times x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. So now you see that I have an x minus 1 on top and an x minus 1 on the bottom. Those cancel out, and I'm left with the limit as x goes to 1 of x plus 1. This is a better form than I had to begin with, because now if I plug in that x is equal to 1, I don't get division by 0, so I can get the answer here just by plugging in that x is equal to 1. If I put in a 1 for x here, I get 1 plus 1, which is 2. So the limit as x goes to 1 of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 2.